This morning in Family Time, we have been prepping for Halloween with candy, costumes, and decorations. But what about some of those spectacular toys for the kids? Well, this morning we have Charlene Jaloche, head of the parent panel at the ToyInsider.com, joining us with some terrific Halloween toy ideas. Good morning, Charlene. Good morning. Welcome back. Thank you. Looking very festive yes. with those earrings, I, I must I say. Decorate, you know? I forgot mine at home. <laughs> but that's not why we're here. Let's talk about some of these ideas for the kids and really what you might recommend for them. You know, we think of costumes and candy, as I said, but we want them to be safe when it comes to the toys as well. Exactly. And there's plenty Plenty of things here for both booze and ghouls, right? So, uh, but, it, but one thing actually that you sort of mentioned, and someone had asked me before, so why toys for a Halloween? Yes, they're themed, because actually a lot of parents don't want to give their kids a lot of candy anymore. Allergies, there's health concerns. So a lot of times what you do is go out trick-or-treating, mm -hmm. you get a whole bunch of candy, you have a little bit of left, and then they can trade in for a toy. So uh, here are some good ones to trade in for. Let's get started. Where yes. should we begin? So these are Watch Over Voodoo charms. I know they look kind of spooky right now, but they're actually really special, because they have a certain mantra to help you get through the week. Traffic, test, what have you. There's 72 to collect. There's really cute ones like for the, your mom that has some coffee. There's some ones for, you know, if you're like into Wonder Woman or you have a teacher. Uh, for example, you have one for to give to a coach. So really fun to hang off a backpack or purse this time of year. Right, there's one of them right there. Yeah. Moving along here, what else do we have? So here we have smashers, gross smashers. And basically you smash this bloody eyeball okay, I got to get one an right icky here. character Just... in between. Oh, yes, exactly. I think I have a cut. There we go. Go. What do we have in the but, middle? See, a little icky character, right? Oh, little cool. Spiders and other little things. <laughs> perfect for this time of year. Very nice. What's There's really the little guy fun. That I just, there he is. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> I like this little spider one. It's kind of a little fly. I'm afraid of spiders, uh, so let's move on. But you can actually on. put it back together, these, and you can smash again. But what I like to do this time of year is put a whole bunch of these eyeballs in a container on the tender of the table, and it's kind of fun little Halloween decor. Love it. Moving Speaking on. Speaking of Halloween decor, so uh, slime, of course, is really big. This one in particular <laughs> is mix and mash because you can actually mash it together. But what you can do is take pumpkins, for all example, right. and you can squish them here, and then you can drape it all over your pumpkin to make it kind of ooey and gooey. If you carve a pumpkin, sort of have the slime coming out of its mouth, it looks like it's sort of vomiting. Give you know, your fun times. pumpkin some pink punk rocker hair. Exactly, right? So slime can actually be decor for your Halloween decorations. And lastly here, as we wrap up. Well, so we actually have bub like a bubble, which is really great alternative to candy, as well as making your own gummy worm and oh. spiders. There's fun little flavors. You can even make a sour mix. Um, and they can even worm. hand it out if you want to, if you have a party. I'm going in for a gummy worm right there. <laughs> Ooh, and here, you, you can lick a bubble too. And look at that. We're just having one big party here on a Monday morning, ladies and gentlemen. That is very, very good. Well, Charlene, we can't thank you enough for these great ideas. We want to have a big eyeball pose off to finish <laughs> things out, right? Here we go. Here we go. I think I may have a stig Maybe three I may have a, a stig stigmatism. I'm not <laughs> sure. I might have to have that looked at. Always great to have you here. Thank you. Great ideas for the kids. If you guys would like to review any of these ideas from Charlene, we love when she drops by. Just visit us at roadshow.com.